let us go inside and see a remarkable example of the ingenuity which man has utilized in dealing with the potentially dangerous forces of atomic energy. Here is a testing room where various metals and materials are subjected to intense radiation. This room is shielded by concrete walls three feet thick. Just think of it. A force you can't see or feel, and yet it is so powerful it has to be shielded by three-foot walls. In order to handle the materials in this dangerous place, the Argonne workers have invented a fantastically wonderful pair of artificial hands operated by remote control. These robot hands are designed to imitate the seven human motions employed in grasping, lifting, moving, and turning objects. Here is a man who has practically four hands. Isn't that something? You'll note that he has his fingers inserted into metal finger tubes. Every motion that he makes with his fingers and hands is exactly duplicated through remote control by the mechanical hands inside the testing room. He's watching his other pair of hands through a window built of laminated layers of glass to a thickness of three feet. You are now looking through this three foot thick window at the mechanical hands. And here is what he is pulling out. In each of these containers is a small portion of some element that has just been made radioactive. 